Have you ever participated in or organized a large meeting which has kind of just lost control with not everybody on mute or people accidentally unmuting themselves? background noise disrupting the flow of the meeting and meaning that the organizer has to keep saying can everybody put themselves on mute please then i've got the feature for you I'm Stuart Redout and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft and today I want to talk to you about those large meetings, 50, 100, 200 people meetings, maybe like an internal departmental or multi-departmental meeting that don't quite go to plan because everybody doesn't quite put themselves on mute or they unmute themselves accidentally. You hear all the background noise, the dogs, the kids, the doorbell, all of those things and the frustrated meeting organizers going, can everybody put themselves on mute multiple times throughout the meeting. You can wipe all of this out by using meeting roles and hard mute to be able to control everybody in the meeting, add a little bit more framework and structure around that and make it a much more pleasurable and productive experience for everyone. So let's have a look then. So first thing I'm starting out on this uh, Microsoft support page here, which just details the roles in a Teams meeting. So you can see here there are three main roles. There's the organizer, the presenter, and the attendee. So the organizer is the person who set up the meeting and you can see here that they've got full rights across the meeting and the same with the presenter but the organizer nominates who can be a presenter in that meeting then lastly we've got the attendee here so the attendee can only speak and share their own video they can participate in the chat and they can privately view the powerpoints so if you share that powerpoint file and people are arrowing back and forth if they've got the permission to do so uh, whereas the presenter can share screen, can mute other people, uh, can remove participants, um, and they can admit people from the lobby. So that's a really important one is that um, if you have a lobby, the attendee doesn't see the lobby at all, so they can't allow anybody in. So we can use all of these and the hard mute feature to just add a little bit more control around our meeting. So I'm going to go to Teams here, and I'm going to set up a meeting, and I'm going to call this um, the hard mute mute test there we go and i'm going to add um, an account which is outside of my tendency uh, so this is an external participant and i've set that meeting up now the first thing i want to do is set up my meeting options so that it's right uh, for my meeting so again if i go back to teams and just open up that then i can go to meeting options um, and you can also see, actually, if you go into Outlook, then when you go to uh, Outlook for the meeting, there is that link there that says meeting options as well. But I like to do it through Teams. So I'm going to click meeting options and it opens up in a browser and it has the main meeting options that I have available to me at the moment. So the first one is who can bypass the lobby. So uh, like lots of organizations, this is set up that only people in my organization can just go straight into the meeting. If I've got any externals, any guests, etc., then they have to wait in the lobby till I let them in. Now you can change that. So you could set it so that you're the only person who can go straight into the meeting and everybody else has to wait. Or you can allow everybody straight in. So maybe if you were organizing maybe a very public meeting, you just wanted people to be able to get straight in without worrying about anything, then you could set it to everyone. But I'm gonna leave it as a people in my organization. Then there's an option here or a lot, next couple of options are around calling. So do we let callers bypass the lobby or do they come straight in? And do we announce when they join? and leave the meeting. But these last two here are the ones that are really important for us today. So who can present and allow attendees to unmute? So we can see here on who can present, everybody is set up to join with that presenter role. So that's great for that kind of eight to 10 person meeting where you've got a little bit more flexibility. You want everybody to be able to present without kind of uh, disturbing the flow of the meeting. But in these much larger meetings, we wanna add a little bit more structure around here. So we can change it, say that maybe only people in my organization work. So that works for us if we were maybe having a large, like maybe like a consultation meeting with members of the public, um, where we wanted our own staff to be able to present and control the meeting, but none of the externals. But this doesn't really work if we maybe had a 100, 200 person departmental or multi-departmental meeting uh, of internal people because everybody would still have those rights. We can pick specific people and search for people who've had a meeting invite, or 
we can just set up that only the organizer is the person who can present. So I'm just gonna leave it for that at the moment and I will show you how you can enable people to be presenters during the meeting. Then this one here, allow attendees to unmute. So currently it's set up that people can unmute themselves and speak. So I'm just gonna click that button there and I'm gonna say no. So attendees cannot unmute themselves and save the meeting. Perfect, so let's just minimize that and I'm going to start that meeting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to turn my mic off so I don't get any feedback through this and I'm going to join the meeting. Okay, so I'm going to bring across here a browser uh, for the person who got invited to the meeting. So there they are. And we can see that they've got the hard mute test. So I'm going to join that meeting. So a reminder that I'm joining as an external participant. So I'm not going to mute myself. I'm going to attempt to join that meeting uh, with my microphone switched on. Uh, and I'm gonna join that. Now, because I'm an external participant, I am gonna go into the lobby. So it's telling me here that people know that I'm waiting. So if I switch back, here we go. Um, you can see that uh, my other person is waiting in the lobby, so I can admit them in. Now, if I switch back, you can see here that it says you're an attendee. You won't be able to unmute, share content, or facilitate. Okay, so it's given me a warning bar, and you can see here that actually if I hover over the microphone button, it says that the mic is disabled for all attendees. So uh, I can't unmute myself, I can't disturb the meeting, and I can't accidentally embarrass myself, which is probably the most uh, important and worrying thing that could happen um, if you did that during the meeting. But what if I wanted to um, what if I wanted to speak during the meeting? So let's say that the uh, presenter says, um, "Has anybody got any questions? Put your hand up, and we can allow you to unmute yourselves." Now this is the normal workflow that we might have in an in-person meeting: is someone would put their hand up, they'd ask their question, um, and then they'd be quiet again. So we can actually do exactly that. So if I put my hand up here, I've raised my hand and go back to my presenter view here, then I can see that someone's got their hand up. I can click on the participant pane and uh, you can see they've got their hand up and I can just say, allow them to unmute. And then they can ask their question. So if I go back now, it says your mic has been enabled. Unmute if you'd like to speak. So you still have to unmute yourself because there's still a privacy concern that we can't unmute people on their behalf. We've just given them the permission to unmute. Okay, and then uh, when we're done, then they would move on. You can see that it's actually also lowered the hand for them automatically, which is really, really useful. Um, but what if I wanted to make that person a full presenter? So let's say uh, that I said, has anybody got any questions? I put my hand up, I was given permission to speak, and I say, actually, I've got something I can show on my screen. Then what we can do as the meeting organizer or any of the presenters is click on the ellipsis here, and I can make that person a presenter. Now it gives me a little warning, and you can see here now that they've moved up, and if I switch back, it tells me that I'm a presenter um, and that I can share content and facilitate the meeting, etc. Now, if I wanted to stop that person being a presenter, then I can just use the ellipsis again and make them attendee. It gives me a little warning. And if we go back to their view, it says that they're now an attendee. They don't have the ability to share content or facilitate. Now, but what if I've forgotten to set up that hard mute feature at the start of the meeting? Uh, or I want to change it. So let's say that I'm keeping everyone mute for maybe half the meeting, and then I'm having a free for all, so anybody can unmute and speak or whatever. I can do that again from this participant's pane. If I click on that ellipsis, then there is an option here that says allow attendees to unmute. So I could do that. And now I'm allowing everybody to unmute. Or if I want to change it back, I can now say don't allow attendees to unmute. And I've now taken away that right. And that's there against other things like managing permissions. And I can set those meeting options just as before. Um, or I can download that attendee list. And again, when I'm done, then all I need to do as the meeting organizer or presenter, instead of just clicking leave, is do end meeting. And that stops the meeting for everybody. It doesn't keep anyone hanging around in the meeting. And it doesn't mean that the conversation then continue after you've left the meeting. So hopefully you'll find this something really useful for if you're organizing these large meetings where you just want to have a little bit more control over who can speak, who can accidentally unmute themselves uh, and uh, 
making sure that people don't disturb the flow of the meeting and that we all have a great and productive meeting. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you again on another video.